Well, just this afternoon, President Joe Biden has approved Iowa's request for a major disaster declaration following destructive tornadoes on Tuesday. The declaration covers four Iowa counties where significant damage occurred. Biden's approval comes just one day after Governor Kim Reynolds requested an expedited presidential disaster declaration Thursday. Residents in Adair, Polk, Story and Montgomery County are eligible. Many people across the state are lending a helping hand cleaning up all of this damage and once again, Greenfield is on cleanup duty after the overnight derecho. Local 5's Larissa Leone is back in Greenfield tonight. Larissa, you spoke to someone on where the city should really go from here. That's right, Stephanie. Day three of the cleanup recovery here in Greenfield and every single time we enter the city, it looks different from when we left it and that's because the recovery efforts are going so quickly, but there's still a lot of stories to tell. And like you said, I spoke with a local insurance agent who was present at the time of the storms and talks to me about his experience that night as well as his concerns for the city. I blew the sirens again. I thought mm, something's going to happen and I ran out of my house. And I looked across the street and I was just like, what just, I, I was, I can't even explain in words what I saw. Tuesday's tornado ripped through the town, destroying three homes owned by Bill Yaunt. Yaunt sprung into action, checking in on his neighbors and tenants. So we were all ran up and Levi, the dad, was right down there with his two little kids. And he, and he lifted them up to Jackie first, the baby to Jackie, the mother. And then she, I grabbed a little guy, Leo, and we all ran up to the hospital and eventually they had to get a ladder down here to get Leo, to get him out. After making sure that family was safe, Bill and some others hopped from house to house to help people. Next house, let's see if anybody was there. And then I realized we didn't see Scott. So then we all ran over to there and we found Scott laying underneath his bed because we yelled and he said, I'm here, I'm here. Because I couldn't move for one. Yeah, I felt pretty helpless laying there and I couldn't get out. To Scott's relief, thanks to Bill and the others, he walked away with just a few bumps and scratches. My shins and my back, I got a bunch of scratches, but my shins and stuff. Oh, did they say it was a total loss yet? Yeah. By trade, Bill works insurance. In the midst of filing his own claims, he's helping people in Greenfield file theirs. He's worried for the city's future. We have tenants that are probably in their 20s and 30s, and most of these people don't have renter's insurance, so they have lost everything. Yunt says the city needs help, and the help they need is affordable housing units people can rent or purchase. Without them, our town will die. And Bill tells me, unfortunately, his three homes weren't the only thing he lost. He says a couple of doors down, his uh, neighbors that lived there, unfortunately, did not uh, survive the storm. He tells me that Greenfield is known for its greeneries and its trees and its beauty, but right now it looks like a war path. In Greenfield, Larissa Leone, Local 5 News. Larissa, thank you. Not only can you donate to that church, but there's several places where you can drop everyday essentials like food, clothing, and first aid supplies. If you can't drop off items but still want to help, there's sites where you can donate money. Our digital team has compiled a list of ways to help the Greenfield community. Just go to weareiowa.com, click on the article you see on your screen.